Hey guys, welcome to Maverick Meteor. Today we're going to try melting copper for the first time. One thing I learned is that a lot of the work in melting happens in preparing the metal to fit into the crucible. These are pieces of copper pipe that I've cut to length and hammered flat. The rest of the metal in this melt is copper wire. Now let's smash everything up as tight as we can get it so there's not a lot of empty space in the crucible. Okay, now we're ready to turn on the gas and fire up the furnace. That dial that I'm adjusting pulls in air and mixes with the propane. I'm checking to make sure that I've got a blue-white flame with a nice cone shape. Now that the furnace is going and rolling along, it's time to preheat the molds. Let's take a look inside and see how our copper's doing. Not quite melted yet. Let's check back later. I can see the copper starting to melt. We should be ready to pour pretty soon. It's really hot in there now. I'd like to find a better way to film this without melting the camera. So far everything's looking good, pressure looks good. Let's make sure we're not bothering the neighbors. Yep, it doesn't seem like they mind. Just chilling on a Saturday afternoon. Copper melts at about 1980 degrees Fahrenheit, but to pour it smoothly, you want to get it up to about 2100 degrees. Preheating all tools and molds is an important step. It prevents damage to the molds and the crucible. Touching a 2000 degree crucible with a cold tool, or pouring molten metal into a cold mold, can cause a lot of damage. Unfortunately, there's too much radiation in the furnace for the camera to film this effectively right now. I'll have to find a better way to film this in the future so you guys can see what the molten copper looks like. That little piece of paper that just blew away is really important. That's a piece of cardboard I put down under the crucible before I started the furnace. 
This forms a layer of carbon and prevents the crucible from welding itself to the furnace. Okay, here goes. Let's pour some copper. That looks beautiful. I wasn't sure how many molds this one crucible would fill up, so I had extra molds ready just in case. I filmed the copper cooling in real time. I love watching the color change as it goes from glowing red all the way to black. That's thermal radiation producing incandescent light. You can see the crucible cooling in the background at almost the same rate as the copper. I find that pretty interesting. Even though the copper is still glowing, it's completely solidified at this point. But the mold is still much too hot to touch, even with protective gloves. I almost forgot, I need to put the crucible back in the forge. It's not good if it cools down too quickly. Let's see if the molds are cool enough to handle so I can dump out the copper ingot. Ouch, nope, that's still way too hot. Thermometer still says about 800 degrees. Let's give it a minute. That looks better. Somewhere around 450. I think we can dump the ingot out now. Wow, that was much easier than I expected. That's a nice looking bar of copper. This bar ended up weighing about two pounds. This was a fun project and I learned a lot. I'll definitely try it again in the future. If you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe. Your support will help me make more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.